Yo, what's up? And today we have a video about the stable Ronaldo guy. And I don't really know how to describe him other than like that payphone meme that went viral on TikTok. He has a lot of like drama about it, about how much he dislikes that meme and, and how it's overused. But genuinely, I don't think he's really known for anything else. And next to him here, he has this guy named Lacey. And Lacey is just, he's like the lol cow of like influencers. Just genuinely an unpleasant person. Okay, can I have a hug? Sure. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hug a princess. I heard you're not allowed to let go. Is that true? <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Do I what? Yeah, I'll stand here. Wait, can you can you throw can you do this? No. It's a it's phase out. No. Okay, can I do it? Okay. Oh, you yeah, okay. It's against the rules. I got it. The big three. It's just the big me. <laughs> just give me my monion. Lacey, you sure? My turn. All right, ready, ready. Yeah. Tell me. Just give me my monion. <laughs> so anyways ronaldo and lacy decided to go meet bradley martin who is another douchey influencer so this is just a room right here that you would never want to be in in a million years anyways they decided to go meet up with bradley martin to i guess work out or get gym tips from bradley obviously as you can tell very early on this is just the memes this is no actual real fitness or anything it's just obviously the cringe right off the bat also just really quick before we get into the main bits i would love it if you would go down there and just look at the subscribe button just see if it's something that you want to do because i'm so close to 4k and it would really help me out yeah why didn't you ask me that question because you look you do i look good normal you know he's overweight <laughs> you weigh more than me yeah no, Wait, how much do you weigh you're, you're 260 right uh, yeah how much you weigh 244 yeah, well but BMI wise, you know, it's like, no, but you weigh more than me. Yeah, no, but I'm not overweight. Yeah, yeah. you are. If you, weigh, if, if you weigh more than me, I'm then you're over overweight. I'm over your weight. I'm over exactly. your weight, but I'm not overweight. And I mean, obviously, as you can see here, he's just, I don't know if it's trying to make Bradley upset or if it's just trying to troll in general. I genuinely don't understand how even the young kids that watch Ronaldo think this is funny at all. Oh, uh, nobody can hear the fucking song. They can't even hear it. It's on you. This weak oh, ass off. I can hear it. So I had to mute there just obviously for demonetization and copyright. Uh, they were playing the payphone meme, or I guess just the payphone song, which obviously is all that Ronaldo is known for. And like I said, he hates, you know, being linked back to that time and time again, but genuinely, he's not known for anything else. So Lacey asked Bradley to play it over the gym speakers. That's basically just, I know I'm over explaining, but that's just what's going on in the background. And so Ronaldo is kind of getting ego checked. And so he grabs Bradley's hat. Now this is where the big problem is because Bradley is like bald and this dude is all about his ego. So to the guy that has more synthetic testosterone in his body than a bull shark, well, this isn't gonna go very well. Damn, actually. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I didn't know that was bad. My bad, Brad. Like, actually. No, actually. Put the camera down. Damn. I mean, I don't want to say they're being overdramatic because Bradley is a big guy and that was a pretty loud smack. Also, it just feels so good for one of these little douchey kids to get slapped right in the face. Yes, Bradley's not better by comparison, but still. If only we could get like Jack Doherty in there, if we can arrange that to happen, we'd be in business. Anyways, you could just see how, I guess, shocked and scared Ronaldo gets immediately as he's like, actually, actually. Also, look at Lacey. He's just, he's so awkward and he's such a pussy. He's just standing there watching. So they put the camera down and they cut a little bit in the future and i would love to be a fly on the wall i would love to know what happened I i'm assuming you know bradley didn't apologize or bradley didn't say anything it just took him a couple minutes to like regain composure i, am, I promise you I'm you have a concussion i'm stressed you're stressed out no nah, you you hit me pretty hard I hit you my fingertips. yeah but you gotta realize you're oh my God. double my height double my weight i don't know how to handle the situation Oh, I can't eat. I gotta jump up. There's no like assisted ones where I can like. You wanna get a box? Yeah. We 
get you a box. But anyways, after that, it gets very awkward and distant. Obviously, the dude just got fucking checked right in the mouth. And he says that he's stressed because he got hit pretty hard. And yes, like I said, that wasn't a light slap. But I mean, he doesn't have a fucking concussion. He's not, doesn't have any kind of internal damage. That just shows you how sheltered and, and annoying these little fucks are. That the first thing that happens to him, he's like, I'm so stressed out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the ER or something. I haven't even got all the way through these clips. But I guarantee you he says something about having to go to the hospital. Bro, I'm like dehydrating that. I like. Do you want me to get you water? What do you want to do? They're all spamming. I know. Like, I feel bad. Is that weird if we leave? Challenge him to a eat off. It's up to you, bro. Bro, why are y'all saying I'm crying? I'm with you. It's a six foot three dude who's 260 pounds <laughs> versus five seven 140, and he full. Like what? Y'all are you? You guys care more than me. I'm chilling. I'm just in shock that happened. And like he's sitting here, just constantly playing with his ear. Like, dude, you didn't get slapped that hard. It's not. Yes, there might be some ringing in your ear, but like, I would go out to say that this dude's never been in a fight in his life if he thinks that the ringing in his ear is is like something to pick at, or I don't know if he's that worried about it. Some of these comments pretty perfectly sum up the situation. Little bro forgot he's not behind a keyboard at home trolling. A grown 260-pound man on steroids slapping a 120-pound kid. SMH. If Larry wielded the same thing, he would not have slapped him. That's that's pretty true. Slapping someone who is two times smaller than you because he took your hat and you started joking first is crazy. Bradley is so insecure and weird. Now I get Brad doesn't want to get disrespected and things like that, but he needs to recognize his strength and he seems kind of insecure. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that he stood up for himself or he was in his right to smack him or at least, you know, say, Hey, you're being disrespectful or, or kind of put him in his place? Because me personally, I hate these nuisance streamers more than anything on the internet right now. So when I see stuff like this, I love it. Like I said, Bradley's not much better by comparison, but I think he did a good thing. So anyways, of course, of course, the dramatic click farm, they had to do some kind of a response or apology or whatever you want to call this later on. Working out with Bradley Martin, who is six foot two, 260 pounds, and 35, and I'm five foot seven, 135 pounds, 21. Um, he started playing the payphone clip, which he must have seen recently because it's been massive and it's been blowing up. And once I started hearing that, I was like, oh, okay, I might as well steal his hat, you know? I thought it was a funny joke. I don't really know much about him, I didn't know he was bald. And then he slapped the dog shit out of me, and my friend kind of just sat there and watched it happen. <laughs> and um, I'm 90% sure uh, something's wrong because my ears are fucking ringing and my head is pounding, but I'm going to try not to be a pussy. Uh, I'm going to go to the ER, maybe, urgent care, I don't fucking know, uh, and figure it out. But I apologize to Brad. I don't know if he's sorry that he hit me, but oh, I guess... Not. You said what? He's not. He slapped the shit out of you. Anyways, you sat there and did absolutely fucking nothing. Um, that was a lose-lose situation. See, if I attack him, we're both getting the dog shit beat out of both of us. Um. Anyways, uh, Brad, if you see this, even though you didn't really apologize, I still am sorry. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry I let you guys down stumble out there's no way this dude in the same sentence says i'm gonna try not to be a pussy and follows it with i'm gonna go to the er or urgent care because he got slapped now if you were in like a full fight with this huge dude and you got boxed around sure go to the er get checked out make sure you don't have any kind of like internal bleeding but you got smacked with his fingertips you are being a pussy nah bro honestly i do agree with the comments that saying like bradley would not do that to someone that's like jacked like him like he wouldn't do that to like fussy tube or vitaly i guarantee it but man was that enjoyable to watch I mean, I might play that back like four times just just because it, it just feels so good. Oh, Let me know your thoughts. Was it justified? Was it too far? Was Bradley insecure for slapping someone a lot smaller than him? Or did Ronaldo deserve it? Let me know down in the comments. Like I said, please help me out. I'm so close to 4K. And I'll see you guys next time.